Hi, Jimmy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Collar Kitchen. I might cut that out later. So, today we're making soup. This is Marty. He'll be making some soup, too, a little later on. <laughs> uh, pretty much the goal, goal of the show that we're doing here is just kind of to demystify some of the more difficult to make things things out there as far as cooking goes. Uh, stuff that sounds intimidating, you know, that's really not that bad once you dig into it. You see somebody do it, not that hard at all. Well, give them our menu, James, what, what uh, we're doing today. Today, this episode, uh, we're going to be making uh, New England clam chowder. Uh, going to make a, uh, a seafood bisque with uh, shrimp and scallops. And making a uh, cheesy broccoli. It's really a cream of broccoli soup that you can put cheese in. The cheese is optional, but uh, most of you are going to put the cheese in it. So, uh, first things first, uh, the seafood bisque. What we got over here? Hey, Marty, you want to pick that thing up and give it, give it a shot over here? Uh, our ingredient list. We got two tablespoons of butter. I'm actually using tub butter because it's easier to melt. A uh, tablespoon of minced onions. Not that. Uh, three tablespoons of flour. Uh, two cups of milk. Quick tip for people who don't have uh, who don't have measuring cups, it'll do two cups. A pint glass is exactly two cups. Uh, we've got hot sauce. Um, if they were paying me to tell you who they were, I would. But I think you know. Uh, we're just going to use a couple of dashes of that. Got a half a pound of bay scallops. Uh, bay scallops or sea scallops doesn't matter uh, in this particular case. Bay scallops are cheaper, so they're bay scallops. And I got a half a pound of white shrimp. Again, it was the cheap one. Lightly uh, chopped. They've, they've been shelled, veined, rinsed, and uh, chopped into reasonable chunks. Uh, down here, I've got one... A uh, clove of garlic, minced up. It's kind of a small clove. And I've got a quarter teaspoon each of salt and pepper blended up in this cup right here. And that's everything that's going into it. I've got a medium saucepan. Uh, I think that's two quarts. I'm going to go ahead and put that on medium heat. Get it kind of warm. I warmed it up a little bit earlier on, so it, it, it's pretty much warm enough to get started. Uh, hey, Marty, can I get like some kind of stirry utensil? Stirry uh, utensil. Spoon, plastic spoon, something along those lines. That'll work for now. It's, all right. That one that's not slotted? That would be best, man. If you got it, I can make slotted work. This is going to be thick. Thank you. First thing we're going to do with this you going to take that butter and dump it on in. To get that good and kind of melty. Uh, you don't want it to be too melty because uh, butter's actually got kind of a low smoke point. So brown is good, black is bad. Uh, when butter burns, it is no bueno. All right, so when you start getting that hot, you're going to take your onions, toss that in there. You're going to saute these things. Um, pretty much you're just looking... We use recipes, folks. We recipes. totally do. These are not from our head. Uh, <laughs> that one I actually took the recipe and changed it around, but it happened. So we're going to saute down these, uh, these onions just until they're soft. We don't want to brown them. That's way too much butter to brown them. You couldn't brown them if you tried. But uh, you don't want to cook them all the way through. Just get them manageable. See how they're kind of starting to go a little bit clear? You know, losing some white, starting to get more transparent? That's pretty much what you're looking for, man. Pretty much. This is going to be a really good tasting base for this soup. Uh, suffice it to say, uh, if, if you're on some kind of weird-ass healthy kick, uh, there's no substitute for that butter, so just make some other kind of soup. All right. Now we're going to start gradually adding in some of our flour here. Don't want to dump all of it in there. You're going to start making a dumpling, which is a whole other show. 
So get some get some flour in there. Start cooking it around. Wanted to show him your bald spot. Oh, right on. I don't have one. See how that's starting to get kind of creamy? Kind of looks like vanilla pudding. Uh, believe it or not, that's not a bad thing. Uh, Basically, you're just making roux. Pretty much I'm making roux, except for it's just butter and onions is, is all it is. Then, once that starts getting to be a little bit too thick for you to manage, you start adding a little bit of your milk here, which is probably going to slop down the side of this glass because it's so full. Yep, told you. Uh, if you're doing that, just hold the bottom of the glass underneath of the pan. You're golden. All right, start mixing that in. Since it's hot, that really won't take as long as it seems like it should to get all that to d dissolve in there and start being like a soup base. Uh, P.S. For those of you keeping track at home, I've never made this before. Just kind of, if I can pull it off, you can pull it off the first time you make it too. All right, get that thin a little further out before I add some more flour in it. Mmm. Probably should have let this milk get to room temperature, man. It'll be fine. FYI, let the milk get to room temperature before you do this. Or, or just warmer than than out of the refrigerator. I mean, cause you, you see how hard I'm, I'm, how hard a time I'm having incorporating this stuff. Hey, a microwave works. A uh, dude, a microwave totally works. Thirty seconds in the microwave, that should be all it takes. Especially since I'm adding this whole thing in there. That's going to drop the cooking temperature down quite a lot. Yeah, just a little bit longer. Yeah, just a little bit longer. I mean, really, this should only be 20, 25 minutes max from, from raw ingredients to eaten. Um, if you happen to be making this in a pan that's not non-stick or Teflon, uh, a whisk would probably make this faster. Unfortunately, this is a non-stick pan, so I'm not using a whisk. And they don't make a plastic whisk that's worth buying. Not that I've ever seen it in right. I'm just going to dump the rest of the flour in there. Got to keep it moving, because if, if that flour starts cooking while it's still in clumps up there, then it's going to remain in clumps, which My bread. is not it's what we're going after. Go ahead and fire in the rest of that milk there. Nope, slap some off the side. Such is life. Having a hard time telling what's what's flour it needs to get unclumped and what's onions. But it's looking like a pretty much not all of it. There's, there's still some flour need working on in there. Pretty much got all the flour worked out of it. Uh, odds are really good that uh, I'm going to cut the majority of this out before the actual show goes on because you know. That's the way it works. That's, that's the, the way, way it works. works. But if I happen to say something that's fun, I'll keep that part. Uh, unscripted By the show. way, we're making bread bowls for our jive here, but that's for another show, so... Yeah, we'll show you how to do that next time. Well, maybe not next time, but one of these times. By the way, while well, I got you here, uh, down in the comments section, if you got something that, you know, you want to see us make, by all means, we're open to suggestions. Doesn't mean we'll do it, though. Doesn't mean we'll do it. He's absolutely right. <laughs> Doesn't mean we'll do it, but uh, my God, if you come up with something that's cool, we'll do it. You know? Something, you know, your grandma used to make, and, you know, you can't ever find a recipe for it anywhere, or you're really not planning on looking, or whatever. All right, it's looking like... Every time I say this, I find another damn clock. By the way, the camera guy is our good buddy, Ryan Gibson. Making bread. No paper towels. Say hi, Gibby. Hi, Gibby. <laughs> Thought you were going to get away with this, huh? Yes. It's like, that's right, your face is now, your face and name will now be available to everybody with the internet, which is something in the neighborhood of like 7 billion. Yeah, but nobody's going to watch our show anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two or three. I'll probably watch it. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. <laughs> so we got three. Friends and family will probably watch it, but... Alright. Lightly grease in the pan. That's another show, folks. Okay. Yeah. Eyes over here. Uh, <laughs> see how it's, stuck? it's thicker than milk? 
pretty much. That's pretty much what we're looking for. That's a, that's a decent consistency. See, see the creaminess there? You know, water doesn't do that. You know, it's that's about the thickness that we're looking for right here. The plus and minus will zoom in and zoom out. All right. <laughs> so, now it's time for the garlic. 